So the Stone Ocean anime has been confirmed for quite a while now, which is great, but after four months of a single Jolene PNG being reposted over and over haunting our dreams, myself and fans had a lot of hopes for the August 8th event for just anything new. And thankfully, as usual, David Pro delivered. <laughs> So the event took place over the course of an hour YouTube premiere, and my expectations were definitely reserved a bit after the Inherited Soul fiasco and then the Anime Expo announcement for an announcement, but thankfully this event made up for it all, with iFeros being iFeros, a two minute promotional video, and the main cast voice actors revealed, project staff revealed, a release date streaming details, and proper subtitles. So just hell yeah, Stone Ocean hype, and let's get into all of the details from the event in today's video. Starting off, off with the absolute queen herself, Aiferuz, who was the first to take the stage and introduce the event alongside the same host from the Inherited Soul event, good to see her back, where they discussed a bit of Stone Ocean going over a plot synopsis, and Feroz was able to talk about her excitement for the project, and we already know Feroz is a huge JoJo fan, perfect for Jolene, and playing out her dream role, but hearing her talk more about Stone Ocean, she is just super knowledgeable about the story, her character, and is truly a JoJo fan through and through. And she specifically touched on the importance of the rivalry between the Joestar bloodline and how it reaches its climax in part 6 and it was just really cool seeing her talk like a Jojo fan. But now on to the trailer which was shown shortly into the event and showcased the entire main cast animated and scenes throughout the first few arcs of the part. It had a totally different vibe from the previous Jojo PVs like parts 4 and 5 which were anime original content showing off characters and their stands. But this PV had more of a cinematic trailer quality to it setting up the story seeing Jolene's imprisonment claiming her innocence and vowing to break free from the stone ocean. Overall, it was an incredible trailer, providing hype for old and new fans alike, fairly spoiler free, and contained some small easter eggs for manga readers of characters that weren't properly revealed in the trailer. Also, it was long, it was a nice thick trailer, two plus minutes where we got to see scenes from probably up to five episodes of the anime, which was much appreciated. So starting off, the trailer begins with the first page of the stone ocean manga at Jolene's car crash that resulted in her incarceration, and Jolene's color palette in the anime is a reference to a Rocky's colored version of this page here as they are the same color palette. And as the camera pans down, you can also see Romeo's leg, who was Jolene's boyfriend at the time. This is followed by Jolene's trial and then her arrival at Green Dolphin Street Jail. And the prison itself was something I myself was really looking forward to see animated. Because it's such an important element of the part as it is the setting for a majority of the time, which is completely different from other parts of Jojo where we're constantly traveling. So it was really important that the prison has a strong presence to convey that sense of danger and mystery line within its walls. And thankfully, again, David Pro delivered, the lighting is grim, the textures on the walls are gritty, the cells are dirty, and it genuinely looks like an unpleasant place. Moving further into the trailer, we can see a wonderful showcase of Jolene's absolute dumpy, the prison courtyard, Ermi's pulling some cash out, and Jolene's introduction to more cast members such as Emporio, and the big daddy dilf Jotaro Kujo returning for his fourth part in a row now, just, just a flex. We then quickly flip through the remaining cast members, including first appearances from my favorite FF, Weather Report, and Anisui, and as for characters' color palettes, they definitely seem to be on the safe side, aligning mostly with the Shueisha color manga, which I always thought were pretty spot on for this cast, besides of course the big change being Jolene from blue and white to dark green and light green. But for everyone else, they all look good, I think Anisui is a little bit more pastel, but I really couldn't imagine Fu in any other colors besides green, although we can get pretty cool stuff with her turning blue in some color swaps that I hope to see in the anime. Also in the second half of the trailer, we hear a teaser for what I assume to be Jolene's theme, as the lyrics go, Jojo, Stone Ocean, similar to Giorno's theme, El Vento Doro, which was pretty cool, and they're also made by the same composer. As well as my first impression was that it sounded a lot like Trader's Requiem, which may be because they were using a similar instrumental composition, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I just thought they sounded similar. And as we were hearing this amazing Jolene theme, things are moving pretty fast, and we see a glimpse of some villains, such as guest Jolene's cellmate, White Snake's suspiciously wet hands during the visitor arc, and John Gallier in a beautiful color palette, I might add. So if you've read the manga, you can kind of piece together where these scenes are coming from, besides Weather and Anisui's introductions, but pretty much this entire trailer is taking place in the Goo Goo Dolls arc and the visitor arc. The trailer then concludes with a super wicked showcase of Jolene Stone Free, as we see her body transform using the stand, as well as its first full body appearance during the fight.
fight against Guess and Goo Goo Dolls, which can actually be seen right before Jolene lets out an aura or a barrage out on Guess using her stand's strain-like properties to punch right through a chain link fence. We then cut to the logo with butterflies fluttering to the sound of crashing cymbals and a beautiful shot of an angry Jolene vowing to break free from the stone ocean. And just goddamn, does it look good? David Pro absolutely popped off and JoJo has always been that David production passion project and for the finale of the original story, they really seem to be going all out and using all of their talent from previous parts to make Stone Ocean the best they possibly can and possibly the best looking animated part yet because it, it looks really good from the trailer. But of course, after we see trailers, we always want to know a release date. And thankfully, it was confirmed that Stone Ocean will be released in December of this year on Netflix worldwide, which is just so soon. As well as on select Japanese television stations the following month in January of 2022. This is most likely because the JoJo anime has some sort of deal with Netflix, as JoJo and the Thus Spoke Grow Hankishi based series are considered Netflix originals. I assume the purpose for this initial Netflix release is because of some sort of exclusivity clause the JoJo anime has with Netflix, so the Netflix version will always be a few episodes ahead of the television release. And this whole Netflix release has stirred up quite a bit of confusion and controversy among fans, as multiple anime news outlets have reported that the entire season, all of part 6, will be released at once on Netflix in December, and will not be releasing weekly. Although that has not been clearly stated by any of the JoJo anime social media pages or website, and seems highly unlikely for many reasons. Most of which being that there is no way that the part is already finished, as every other season of JoJo was being created simultaneously with its weekly release, and all that was shown from the trailer would be within the first few episodes, besides Weather and Anisui, which may have been shots made specifically for the trailer ahead of time. The cause of this controversy seems to be a mistranslation and a dispute over the word release used by the JoJo anime on their website, so I would not bet on a full season release in December, as it does not make sense for anyone involved, and it is also not uncommon for anime to release weekly on Netflix in Japan. So so with that all cleared up, we can now move on to the cast, which is very exciting. We of course know that Jolene will be voiced by Ai Fedos and Jotaro by the returning Kane, Daisuke Ono. And as for the newcomers, Ermis Costello will be voiced by Mitsumi Tamura. Previous works include Kobayashi from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Foo Fighters will be voiced by Maria Ise. Previous works include Killua from Hunter x Hunter. Emporio will be voiced by Atsumi Tanazaki, whose previous works include Juno from Beastars. Weather Report will be voiced by Yuchiro Yumahara, who took the internet by storm. Storm last night, whose previous works include Nothing I Recognize, besides Tojo from Fire Force, and Ira from Kingdom Hearts Back Cover, but I am excited to hear more from him. And Anisui will be voiced by Daisuke Namikawa, whose previous works include Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, and was also the voice of Giorno in Eyes of Heaven. So unfortunately, no Poochie reveal for spoiler reasons, but the main cast is looking stacked with talent as well as some unknown VAs ready to make their impact on the industry, which I've always appreciated how the JoJo anime will give more unrecognized VAs big opportunities. And alongside the cast, the major staff members were also revealed that are going to be working on the project, but I won't go into each of them individually, although they all have incredible credentials and all worked on previous parts of JoJo. But potentially most important is the chief director of the project, who will be Kenichi Suzuki, who will be returning to JoJo since his work as the chief director on parts 1 through 3, which is very fitting as he is being brought back to the part that concludes the Bloodline rivalry, and as he started directing the anime, he will now be finishing at least the original universe's anime. So absolutely one hell of an event, a full two minute trailer that showed so much, all of the cast members, a glimpse into the soundtrack, a release date, staff reveal, talent reveal, just absolutely incredible. So please be sure to like the video if you are hyped for Stone Ocean and you appreciated my little recap of the hour long event, and I am just so excited to see this part brought to life. Let me know what specific fight or moment in the part you guys are looking forward to seeing animated most. Me personally, it is Jolene versus Poochie in the tall grass handcuffed together. I absolutely love that moment. And just, yeah, I'm so hyped for this. Also guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe for more JoJo, all that good stuff. Follow my social media down below in the description for more updates on the JoJo anime as we're gonna get more development on the whole release schedule and the controversy and what's going on there and just stay tuned for more jojo we got jojolian ending in a week from now so just very exciting things coming very soon so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i'm definitely looking forward to a whole new season of jojo with you guys and the return of gucci cast so thank you guys so much for watching peace